Hello friends and welcome to a plus one MMR video on how to eat multiple stacks of mangoes efficiently. What I'm talking about usually refers to two situations. One, when you have a shovel and you've dug up multiple stacks of mangoes and you just haven't been using them so you've got like one or two stacks. Or it's the late game, something's going on, you're trying to like push but you used all your mana in a previous team fight, but you killed their carry, so you're like, you're ready to go, you just need mana, so you buy up a bunch of mangoes, and you don't want to spend forever to eat them. This is not the most important thing to know, but this has come up enough times that I have thought about how to optimize it, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. So, to be clear on why this matters, like why we want to save some time, and I'll give you a couple different options on what you can do, uh, ranging from the easiest to do and then harder to do, but you'll save more time. Um, the reason this matters is because in the late game, look at your items here for a Crystal Maiden, for example. What do I drop for mangoes? You know, what do I backpack? Because when you put something in your backpack, it's going to have a long cooldown, six seconds. And what if a team fight suddenly breaks out? That carry you killed buys back, and suddenly you're like, whoa, whoa, wait, I don't have my blink dagger. I'm not ready, or I'm super slow because I put my tranquils in my backpack, something like that. Um, so we want to minimize the time we have to have this like item that doesn't do anything for six seconds um and why because we bought these like stacks of mangoes because you have no mana and you got to eat them or maybe your carry needs mana you're fine but your carry needs mana and so you buy up a bunch of mangoes to use on your carry because most carries they don't have huge mana pools and their spells usually aren't too expensive so five to six mangoes is usually enough for another team fight if they need it so what are our options here well, what a lot of people do is they'll call over their courier with the sets of mangoes. Uh, they'll kind of forget about it, that it's on the way, and then they'll get delivered to the backpack. So now we have to bring in the mangoes. Six seconds. I'm going to cheat, use the cooldown here, so we don't have to wait the whole time. So you eat your mangoes, then you have to swap in another six seconds to get the second set. Let's say we use it on our juggernaut, and we finally bring our item back in. So that's 18 seconds in total that we don't have our glimmer cape, our Aeon disc. Maybe maybe we could have swapped out wards in this example, but maybe you need detection in case there are invis heroes. Then what do you do, you know? Or maybe instead of wards, we have our Dagon, right? Do I really want to swap out my Dagon 5? Maybe not. Why do we have this? It's to kill the Lena so that we don't lose our gold for being AFK and uh, get the video interrupted totally hypothetically and didn't happen. This isn't the second recording. So how can we start cutting out time? Because 18 seconds for two sets of mangoes, that is quite a lot of time. We don't have an item. So, what we can do, let's get six mangoes again. That's seven. Six mangoes. One, as your courier comes over, you can move your item into your backpack ahead of time. This will give you mangoes ready to use right away. You swap the other ones in, six seconds. You use them, swap the item in, another six seconds. This brings us down to only 12 seconds that the Glimmer Cape is in your backpack. And because you are using your backpack, you're still free to move around. I know we're sitting here in the base, but like, for example, you win the team fight here and you're pushing up. So you can walk this whole time as you're like doing this backpack efficiency stuff. You get to their their uh, base, 12 seconds, you're good to go. 18 seconds, you probably get here and you're still waiting for your item to come up off cooldown. So this six seconds does help a lot. Now, a more <laughs> useless tip that was the original inspiration. Instead of buying six mangoes, let's buy five. And let's say you do the, the backpack thing. It doesn't really matter if you do it or not. This will save you time regardless. If you want to eat five mangoes here, or let's say it was six, it would take at least six seconds because we have to finish this stack and then move the next one in. But if you do this trick, which is that when this is two or less, so one or two mangoes, you could eat two mangoes here, click and drag in the other two. It auto combines to three, and then you can eat all those and then swap your item in. This brings it down to... Uh, six seconds you have to wait just for the Glimmer Cape cooldown. Whereas when we had two stacks of mangoes, to eat six mangoes and then get our item back in, that was 12 seconds in total. This, we ate five mangoes, which is one less, but it only took six seconds. So we do save a bit of time there. And honestly, let's say you're using it on your carry. You know, the difference between 500 mana and 600 mana is not that big a deal. Plus, what are the odds they wait for you, the six seconds, to use the second set of mangoes anyways? So being able to do 500 in one burst like that is really helpful. Now, this doesn't work if you get two sets of mangoes like this. Like, you can't do one, two, and then swap this in because it, it just doesn't. Because you already have a full stack here, it won't combine and put the three stack in here. So you end up having to use the third one and then wait for time to go on like that. But just to show you in real time again, if you have 
Here, let's do let's do one mango this time, uh, just to show it works that way too. Uh, four mangoes here. I can do one, two, click that in. The other two, and that was very quick. Even faster if you're using it on yourself, because you can just keep your mouse here instead of having to move over to Juggernaut. So that'll save you some time. Another six seconds, we cut out. If you're going to use your backpack so that you can still move around and you don't risk dropping items, all of that, that's about as low as you can get on saving time. If you want to do all of this in about a second and not waste any backpack time, you can. It's just micro-intensive. So let's get six mangoes so we're not using that trick I just talked about. As your courier comes over, you can do this a couple different ways. If you're willing to drop something on the floor, which has its own risks, you know, the enemy might blink initiate on you, something like that. But if you're willing to do that, you could drop this, say your glimmer cape, whatever, drag over one set of mangoes, use them all, then have your courier give you the rest, then you eat that, and you pick up your item off the ground. No backpack cooldown in between all of that. Now, the reason we had to have the courier bring us these items, and then I had to manually drag over the first set, is because if I if I use my hotkey to have this courier deliver items, it would give me one set into my inventory and then put the other one in the backpack. And then we're back at the six seconds we have to wait. So that's no good. And once something's in your backpack, even if you drop it on the ground and then pick it up, you'll notice it still has the cooldown. So as soon as something enters our backpack, we've lost that six seconds. So I have to manually drag in the first one, use them all. And now I could use my courier uh, hotkey to just deliver the rest of the items because I have an inventory open. I eat them. Oh, this, this glimmer was supposed to be on the floor. And then you pick up your glimmer and you're good to go. If you don't want to put the item on the floor, it's still possible, but you, you'll have to put on your courier. So as your courier is coming over, click and drag your item to the courier. Oops, sorry. You're supposed to... Uh, <laughs> I messed it up, guys. Let me redo this. As you... I'm not going to edit it out. I'm going to show my mistake. I don't care. So as... Oh, we did it again. I was too close. I just bought my own. I'm not editing this, guys. I don't have time. Okay, so as the courier comes over, we're going to have it stop in front of me. Oh, it's picked up another set of tank, uh, mangoes for me. Perfect. You're going to drag your item to the courier. And you're going to drag an, uh, a stack of mangoes to yourself. Eat it. Select the courier. Eat your next set. Courier. The third stack of mangoes. Sure, why not? Use them on the juggernaut. Now bring us our item. This way, we don't drop an item on the floor so it won't get stolen. Your courier could be killed with your item, and then you're going to lose the item for like a few minutes, but at least you'll get it back after the courier respawns, and you're not at risk of some invis hero or blink stunner stealing your item and literally losing like 2,000, who, who knows how much money. Uh, the downside is you saw how long that took me to do, right? Like, if you practiced it, sure, it would be a little better, but it's honestly uh, quite a lot of micro to like drag the item here, drag the item back. Do this, do that, you know, and then select your item. Like it's kind of a it's kind of a lot, but it circumvents the backpack cooldown completely. And honestly, I still did it faster than six seconds. So if you don't have to move, it's fine. Like that's the downside, right? Before when we were using the backpack, I was walking down theoretically. I could walk down the lane while doing these backpack tricks and then get here with my team having used all those mangoes. Doing this requires me to stand still a little bit. I guess in theory you could do this while moving, uh, but I think that would be way too hard. We're not playing StarCraft here. We're playing Dota. Uh, I came to this game because I can't do micro. Uh, so stationary. Maybe that works if your tower, ha if your team has to like kill the tier two tower before pushing up, and you have a moment to stand here and do that little item inventory swapping or just dropping on the ground, which I think is far easier. Especially if you wiped the enemy team, you don't have to worry about them stealing your items, just drop them on the floor, have your courier bring over. There we go. We lost our gold because it was AFK too long. Um, but yeah, dropping the item on the floor, have the courier come over and either drag it one at a time into you and then eat them or do that trick I said where you buy only five mangoes so that you can add the two stack into your other ones. Um, but yeah, that's it. That is how you can save zero to eight or not zero, six to 18 seconds eating stacks of mangoes, at least with two stacks. In theory, if you're getting even more than that, you could buy, or you could save six seconds, another six seconds for every extra set, every stack of mangoes. But usually the most I buy is like two sets of mangoes when, I don't know, because you have a shovel and you've dug it up. When you have a shovel, the trick I mentioned with an uneven amount of mangoes becomes more relevant. I don't have any gold to buy a mango. Oh, the mango tree's still in the game, guys. Look at that. Bonus fun fact. 
Um, but yeah, when you have the shovel, you're more likely to get like a full stack of mangoes and then like one or two. And that is when this click and drag trick is a little better. Oh, you know, to see, I had two here, so it actually swapped them. Um, but that's not what we wanted. We wanted to uh, build a new set. That's interesting. I think it's bugged because I think the mangoes must be different from the mango tree. Um, oh yeah, you can't sell them. So that's why they're not stacking. That's why they swapped. Um, but the, with the, this isn't in the game anymore. Ignore that. Um, but the usual mangoes, you can just do the uh, trick I showed you, and then you'll be good to go. So that's it. Ten minutes on how to save six seconds on eating mangoes. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.